some time ago we did a video on the mics that we use and um, all we did on that video was just sort of cover what they're used for and how we use them uh, but uh, this time around I think we're gonna do something maybe a little bit different uh, here's some of the mics uh, that I'm going to be uh, testing in this uh, sort of this uh, pseudo test environment and what we're going to show is why some mics are better suited for certain things than other mics. Uh, for example, the uh, Audix drum kit. Uh, we've got um, a D6, we've got a D2. Uh, in the kit is also the I5 and uh, there's a D4 as well. Uh, but why do these mics work for their intended use? So. What we're going to do is uh, show why some mics are better than others for uh, certain things. And what we're going to be looking at is not so much as the sound quality, but uh, the kind of energy the microphones can put out. Okay, so for this test, and this is really nothing scientific, it's just to give you an idea of what the mics are doing and why we use certain mics for uh, certain situations. So in this first one, we have a D2, I'm, I'm sorry, we have a D6. And what I'm going to be doing is speaking into the mic, and I'll probably be speaking about this level, and I'm going to be maybe about two inches away from the mic when I'm talking. So and normally you wouldn't use a drum mic uh, for vocals, but uh, this is to give you an idea of why drum mics are the way they are. So what we're going to do, I'm going to unmute here, there we go. Okay, so to start with, we're going to move this up to Unity, and we're going to leave it there at Unity, and the gain, I'm not adjusting the gain between any of these mics, and the uh, level here is going to be right at zero. So the gain's not moving. Uh, there's no EQ, no nothing going on here with this channel, and we're just sitting at Unity. Test, test. This is a D6 mic. Test, test, D6 mic. It does sound a bit bassy, but it is designed for a kick drum. Test, test. As you saw, the uh, D6 was quiet. It was uh, actually very quiet. So the next mic that we're going to be uh, talking through is going to be a D4. This is a D4 mic. This is a D4 mic. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Okay, the uh, next mic that we are doing is going to be the D2. Unmute it and we'll bring it up. Test one, two. Test one, two. This is a D2 mic. Not as bassy, but uh, still a little bit quiet. Okay, next we are testing the I5 mic. And this mic is usually used as an instrument mic, uh, but sometimes people have used it as a vocal mic. Uh, but I think it is better suited for an instrument mic. So uh, let's take a listen to it. Okay, this is the i5 mic. And I'm set about the same two inches away from it. Uh, it is noticeably louder. It's not quite as bassy as the other mics, but um, it definitely um, has more presence to it. And we're going to switch over to uh, some regular vocal mics. Okay, we're going to be looking at one of our Sennheisers. Uh, the E835. We're going to listen to that. Check one, two. Check one, two. It's a Sennheiser E835. It does have a bit of a warmer sound to it. It is uh, noticeably louder. And it sounds, um, actually sounds a lot better than the drum mics. I guess it probably should. Okay, we're going to move on to um, another one of our vocal mics. Okay, so this time around, uh, our vocal mics, we're going to use a Sennheiser E935, which I don't think that was in the last video that I did, but um, that's going to be the mic this time. All right, this is the uh, E935.
test, test. Sennheiser E935, test one, two. Definitely has a lot more presence in it than the E835. Uh, but I still think the 835 sounds uh, quite a bit more warmer. But uh, actually, this mic sounds really good as well. Uh, definitely a bunch of step ups from the uh, drum mics that we were just using. Okay, and uh, moving on up here, we're back on the ADX. It's the uh, Audix ADX51, so we're going to give that a try. Test, test, one, two. Now, I am probably um, maybe six or eight inches away from this mic. Uh, this mic is extremely sensitive, and I'm going to get closer and closer to it. And here I'm about uh, two inches away from it. Um, and this is good because this is what I was expecting uh, with these these types of mics, and the um, the roll off on this mic is the 150, which we leave it, and we we'll leave it at a, a zero dB, so we're not padding uh, any of the signal that's going into it. So this is an Audix ADX 51, and I'm actually said I'm probably um, about at least five or six inches away from it, and uh, this is really loud. All right. Gonna mute that, bring it down. Okay, we're looking at the uh, EV, the uh, ND67 for uh, female vocals. Test one, two. Test one, two is the EV mic. And I'm about uh, two inches away from it. Uh, it actually sounds not too bad, really. It's got, um, it's got a decent level. Uh, it actually sounds pretty good. Okay, so what's going on with these different mics? Now, obviously, uh, there are mics that are made for uh, drum kits. There is a specification that's uh, on all the mics, and that's a microphone sensitivity. And the drum mics, all the drum mics that you heard here on the Audix have uh, relatively low sensitivities. For example, the Audix, the D6, the kick drum mic, has a, a sensitivity of 0.8 millivolts. Now, why would we be using a mic with 0.8 millivolts? This is a D6 mic. When we have a Sennheiser mic that is much more sensitive, which is at uh, 2.8 millivolts. Sennheiser E935. Any of the mics that are that are of lower millivolts are actually designed for very loud instruments. There's a lot of pressure that goes on inside of the kick drum. So it's best to put a mic in there that is not very sensitive. Drum mics, and this includes the Shores, uh, like, like the PG series or even the Beta 52, like a Shure Beta 52 has a 0.6 uh, millivolt, which is less than this one. So anything that's usually uh, of a low voltage is designed for loud environments. That's why you don't want to stick some of these mics in these very loud, um, very loud instruments because it's going to cause a lot of problems up here and get up here, setting all the gains. Because these mics are uh, not very sensitive, this is what allows you, this is what allows you to set some kind of a gain on those drum mics. Because if those drum mics were super sensitive, these things would be all the way down, and then you really lose your ability to control the gain of the mic. So with a low uh, voltage, and actually it's expressed in millivolts, very low millivolts on it, this allows you to utilize the gain to get the best sound quality you can from the mic. I do not have an SM57 here, but the Audix i5 and the SM57 have the exact same millivolts. So either one of these would give you the same volume level. A mic that we didn't do here, which was the AKG Perception mics uh, that we use for the acquires. Okay, those mics are 20 millivolts. They are extremely sensitive. Okay, so the next time you're going through your mic selection trying to find something for a 
a drum kit or an instrument or vocals and you need to attach it to uh, your, your uh, console, just remember that uh, these mics do have specific purposes and uh, a lot of it has to do with the millivolts that they produce. And if you're not too sure what the millivolt is for your microphone, I highly recommend going to the manufacturer's website, look it up, and there's something called sensitivity. The sensitivity of the mic is measured in uh, what they call a Pascal. You're going to see something that's going to show what the millivolts is. It's a lowercase m, uppercase v. And that's going to reference one Pascal. And that's going to be at one kilohertz at a 94 dB at the front of the mic. So that's what you need to look for. This is a D6 mic. This is a D2 mic. This is a D4 mic. This is the I5 mic. These are E835, E935. This is the EV mic, ADX51. Okay, well, I hope this helps to give you an idea of uh, how mics are sort of manufactured for their particular uses, you know, drums, instruments, vocals. And so even though we used Audix here and Sennheiser and EV, it easily extends over into the um, Shure mics as well as anything else that's out there. Just look at the manufacturer spec. It'll help you, it'll help you pick out a mic. All right, thanks for watching.